The Steam Workshop is a place of creativity and beauty, where thousands of modders have attempted to make their mark on the games they love by making it just that little bit better. It's also a place where some of the most heinous, hilarious, and degeneracy fueled abominations reside. And in this video, we'll take a journey to the grimy underbelly of the Steam Workshop and visit some of the most unhinged Project Zomboid mods available. Consider this your disclaimer that some of these mods are not for the faint of heart. Some of them made me question whether humanity deserves the chance to exist just from working on this video. But if you happen to find this video entertaining, or you're one of the freaks that might actually use these mods, drop the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Maybe it'll make the dwindling vestige of sanity I have left after making this worth the trouble. Maybe. So, for those of you thinking that I might not be serious about the disclaimer for this video, I'm going to start strong and go right for a mod that will separate the wheat from the chaff, as it were. If you don't like this one, turn back, skip to the next video, take a shower, whatever you need to do to move on with your life as if this never happened. This is the Excrementum mod. This is actually one of the more popular ones I'll feature in this video, with over 60,000 current subscribers. 60,000 of you felt that you needed the ability to shit your pants whilst playing Project Zomboid. The sound effects for this mod are absolutely horrifying. And when I went out to you folks for recommendations on mods for this video, I received a comment that I feel absolutely encapsulates this mod. Here it is. <coughs> My buddies and I have been messing with excrementum, and even though it is really fun to have your character realise they have to take a shit in the middle of a raid, the mod author obviously uses real sound clips of themselves peeing or shitting into their own toilet, and it's absolutely nauseating. If there are a way to mute that or replace it with something a little more cutesy and Sims-like, it would be a fun mod to add a little gross realism. As it is, it's an endurance match to see how long you can handle the sound of someone doing a farty dump right in your ears. Now, I'm not a fan of my videos getting demonetized by YouTube, so I obviously won't be playing those sound effects, but he's right, they are disgusting. 60,000 of you are disgusting. Oh, and there's a mod called Pee in a Bottle, if you wanna, you know, pee in a bottle. That's not gonna help you at all. On to the next one. Let's view these next ones as a palate cleanser, something a little more jovial than the monstrosity we've just had to deal with. This mod is Philly Buster Rhymes horsing around, and I wouldn't blame you for thinking that doesn't sound very unhinged at all. In fact, that sounds like it's going to add something a lot of players would love to see in the game, until you actually test it out. Yeah, I don't think I need to say anything more about this one. Next up, if you're looking for some more, let's say, interesting weapons to try, this is the Comically Large Spoon mod, and it does exactly what it says on the tin. Not that you'll be able to actually use this for eating unless there's a Comically Large Tin mod, but the thing is bloody massive, and it'll carve in a few zombie heads with very little trouble. All right, so you've had your bit of a breather. Now we're back into true degeneracy with the next few mods. The world of Project Zomboid can be an isolating, lonely place, especially if you're on single player. So rather than just playing multiplayer, some of you lot have decided it'd be better to add body pillows to the game with your favorite anime waifus. With Big Degen's Dakimakura Emporium, you'll be able to find a whole range of different body pillows out in the world to cuddle up with at night, or better yet, strapped to yourself as armor, or use them to defend yourself against special neckbeard zombies that can also carry body pillows with them. This is truly creative genius. This is what we've chosen to dedicate artistic minds to. The modder has even included a way for people to add their own anime waifus to the project, and if that wasn't bad enough for you, I'm going to draw your attention to the features section of the workshop page. Specifically, these two points. The ability to flip the Dakimakura to display a back image. Jesus Christ. 
Oh, and there's a whole assortment of items for your character to quote-unquote release stress. 55,000 current subscribers to this mod, by the way. God help us all. Now, our next one is a perfect coupling for when you're snuggled up with your favourite anime waifu for a little bit of bedtime reading. For those of you familiar with Skyrim, you might be aware of a certain erotic novel that you can find in the game called The Lusty Argonian Maid. Well, thanks to this mod, now it's in Project Zomboid too, because why the heck not? If you'd prefer something more visual for your character, however, However, the mod More Nudie Mags does exactly what the name suggests and adds a wider selection of nude magazines to Project Zomboid. Find some lotion, a tissue, and, well, you know the rest. Oh, and because this so obviously belonged in a mod adding nude magazines and masturbation to the game, you can do origami too. How nice. Now, Project Zomboid is a game of fashion for many players. There's definitely a large portion of the player base that judges their clothing options based on how they look rather than protection values. So, if that's you, well, these next couple of mods will be just great if you're searching for a reason for your friends to look at you with disappointment, disgust, and possibly pity. First up, we've got a a a a a a a a this mod, however you say it, which adds a collection of clothing with um, these faces on them. Yeah, that's a that, that's it really. That's the mod. Going progressively deeper into the realms of depravity, the next mod is wearable leashes. Now, there's no animals in Project Zomboid yet, so I guess if you're looking to fill that gap with an alternative solution, then this could be considered constructive problem solving. But in all likelihood, it's probably just because some of you are a bunch of perverts. Almost 22,000 of you, in fact, and we've well well and truly descended down this grimy, slippery slope with the next one. This is the piece de resistance of perverse clothing mods. Kink It Up adds an entire range of clothing, akin to that I'd expect to see in a German BDSM club, complete with all the latex and rubber you can get your hands on, as well as harnesses, cuffs, stockings, and a rather disturbing lack of coverage over the crotch region. As you'd expect, you're going to be sweltering hot in this clothing, so your character will be sweating about as much as you will when you're reading The Lusty Argonian Maid from the mod I mentioned earlier. If you're looking for an alternative to the clothing options I've provided so far and you're one of those darn zoomers with your TikTok dances and your grimace shakes, you might just appreciate this absolutely cursed Among Us Suits mod. High quality it is not, but the fact that it looks like someone took about five minutes designing these things in Photoshop and picked the first colour on the palette wheel just makes it even more hilarious to be honest. The suits can be found on zombies too and watching them waddle around in these things is just comedy gold. To go with it, we can pair this up with the mod Among Us Nugget, which literally adds an Among Us shape nugget to the game, and that is it. Nothing else. Honestly, I don't even know why this one is here. I guess I just thought it was funny thinking about a modder taking the time to create a mod and adding nothing more to the game than a nugget. For the next few mods, we'll stick to the culinary delights of the Steam Workshop, and by culinary delights, I mean absolute nightmare fuel to be shoved in your cake hole. First up, we have It's a Dog's World. This mod is perfect for the post-apocalyptic chef with nothing in the pantry, and most importantly, a very limited supply of self-respect. Recipes within include buttered dog food, dog food with paper garnish, and my personal favourite if you're feeling down on your luck, whiskey on the roughs. Truly a culinary revolution. Now, if you're looking for some more options when it comes to depressing food, the mod I Hate Stuart Little is more than unhinged enough for this list. Rat is apparently the new delicacy of post-apocalyptic Kentucky, because with this mod you'll be able to create Stuart Little spaghetti, rat meat balls, or even grind them into seasoning. This mod isn't just a culinary mod though, the modder's deep-seated hatred for Stuart Little is honestly quite impressive, with the mod's workshop description telling you all you need to know on that front and potentially instilling a bit of worry about the modder's mental state in the meantime. I never thought I'd have the option to waterboard Stuart Little in Project Zomboid or turn him into a cigarette, but life is full of wonderful little surprises I guess. 
Now, next up, we have the Mega Milk mod, which, as the name suggests, adds something the game absolutely doesn't need and, frankly, scares me. Quick reminder, animals aren't in the game yet. Players will now have the option to quote-unquote extract milk from characters and fill empty milk cartons, bottles, or buckets. So if you wanted to be a cow before animals come along in Build 42, you've finally got your wish. Now, what worries me most though is this section of the modder's workshop description. And it reads, if anyone knows how to limit production only to female and how to subtract her nutrient value when used, let me know. Which ultimately implies that right now, this isn't restricted to female characters. And I don't really think I wanna dive anymore into this one. Nope, nope, I'm good. Lastly, on our list of culinary delights, we have the mod Consumable Boob. And this mod is exactly what it sounds like. You can quite literally find boobs on zombies that can be eaten for nutrients. Singular or double in some cases. The perfect snack for a zombie outbreak. All right, so to wrap things up, I've saved the absolute best or, well, worst until last. A mod so degenerate and heinous that it was the only possible choice for the finale of this video. This is the mod Panty Sniffer, and I actually feel like I need a shower just from reading that out, knowing that so many of you folks will be watching right now. Now, what the mod does is pretty self-explanatory from the name, but it's the level of detail that really makes this this mod the absolute pinnacle of degeneracy. The modder explains that most of the time, your character will sniff a set of panties and simply move on. However, about 10% of the time, your character might find that they enjoy the process or are disgusted by their own actions, which can affect their mood. And very rarely, about 1% of the time, the modder says, and I quote, your degeneracy will reach an all-time high and you'll shout out in pleasure or agony. So that's just about it from me in this video. I am definitely going to need a shower after having recorded this voiceover, but I'm going to take some solace in the fact that I had to suffer with the knowledge that these mod exist, and so too did many of you folks that have joined me on my journey to the depths of depravity. Quick thank you to all of my patrons for their existing support, getting involved with our mod development for some slightly more normal mods than the ones shown in this video, and for joining me on our Patreon Projects on Void server. Our link is in the description if you want to get involved, support the channel, and join them. Thanks folks, I will see you all in the next one.